Hello guys, welcome back to Sandra DH. Today I made a slug from Slugterra, the core elemental. This is the core elemental. He is the most powerful of all the elementals. He is the fire, water, earth, air, and energy elementals combined. This is the core elemental when it hits velocity, where it is in the 99 caverns of Slugterra. The core slug is located in Bullseye Cavern, which is the exact center of Slugterra. The core slug is buried deep underneath the ground, almost going to the deep caverns, home of the Dark Bane. The core elemental's powers. Other than holding all of Slugterra together, this slug can pack a punch. The slug is very hard to be either in slug form or when it hits velocity. It can use the power of any other slug, and it is very intelligent, except it still can't talk. But it knows every single slug, what it does, and its weaknesses. Even the ghouls. You can take a look at those. Pause the video if you would like. The Core Elemental's owner. The Core Elemental's owner is Eli Shane. He found it because it was hurt. Because on top of Bullseye Cavern, there was a giant tub of dark water, and the other elementals in Eli's backpack knew him from a while ago and knew he was hurt. The Core Elemental's Origin In the Slugtower movie, Return of the Elementals, Will Shane said the Earth, Water, Fire, Air, and Energy Elementals were the first slugs ever created and the most powerful. But were they really? No, the Core Elemental was. He was the one who made Slugterra and still holds it together today. Conclusion In conclusion, although Eli does have the core elemental and it is ready to fight, it still holds all of Slugterra together. But his power was not enough for the ghouls or the Dark Bane, so he made 12 guardian slugs to help him. That is the slug I made. I hope you guys like it. Bye.